Okay, here is my, not hammer all the way down, but I want to feel the power, so let's do it. Actually, that's all the way down. That's, that's it. That's all she's got. I don't know, I'm not too impressed with that. So not too long ago, I was scrolling online because I was looking for a newer truck that was gas that can pull a trailer, something simple, especially something local. I'm not a hot shot trucker, but I am a diesel owner and I use my trucks to haul trailers. But to be quite honest with you guys, I don't do it constantly. So it would be really nice to be able to just have a gas truck that I don't have to spend so much money on diesel to just start this thing up and go. So I was scrolling online and I found a 2022 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD with the new 6.6 .6 liter gasoline engine. I'm pretty sure that it's more of a marketing ploy for it to be dubbed a 6.6 .6 liter gasoline engine. When of course we have the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel. But scrolling online, I was sort of looking at the specifications and it's pretty surprising that this engine can put out 401 horsepower versus the L5P Duramax that can put out 445 horsepower. But let's be honest guys, when it comes to the sheer power of a Duramax, you're gonna get the real torque out of this. Of course, it's gonna be turboed as well. Now, coming from a guy like myself, I am a self-proclaimed diesel mechanic and I also own plenty of diesel trucks. I'm a huge enthusiast of them. And anytime I hear about a gasoline engine in a pickup truck I usually stay away from it but I've been really warming up to the idea lately especially with a lot of the diesel guys coming on board and buying these gas trucks so they don't have to spend so much money in diesel and of course always having to worry about the failed emission systems on these diesel trucks it can get very pricey but before I make this test drive what exactly is this truck the 6.6 .6 liter L8T gasoline engine replaces a 6.0 V8 at 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque the 6.6 .6 liter offers significantly greater performance than and the 360 horsepower. It features a deep skirted cast iron engine block, which provides additional rigidity to the bottom end of the engine. And of course, this engine reduces engine harmonics. Now, of course, the engine is not to be confused with a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel, although their bore and diameter stroke length and therefore overall displacement are pretty similar. But if you look at the displacement of this 6.6 .6 liter gasoline engine, you're looking at 6.56 liters. So yeah, if you were to round up, you're gonna be at 6.6. .6. So what's fair is fair, but let me know in the comments, is it a 6.5 or a 6.6? .6? But as stated before, it's pretty awesome that they came out with the cast iron block and they have the aluminum alloy heads. And when talking about bottom end, it's got a forged steel crankshaft, billet steel camshaft, forged powder connecting metal rods, and then two valves per cylinder, which would be a 16 valve. Now I'm hearing a lot of good things about this new truck. I know there's a lot of pros and cons. And of course not to be negative, but who in their right mind is gonna spend between 45 to 60 or $70,000 on a gasoline pickup truck without looking at the cons of the engine. Here's five common Chevy 6.6 .6 liter gas problems to include knocking sounds at idle, random ticking noises, insufficient power. It only has a six speed transmission, poor fuel economy, and then lackluster and acceleration. And also on a side note, I'm hearing from other guys that they're actually burning oil through the exhaust. Now, I'm not exactly sure why they didn't fix this problem before they released these trucks back in 2020, but it's definitely a huge problem that needs to be addressed. But for some of you guys that don't know, these 6.6 .6 liter engines are actually put in heavy duty trucks and are judged by their maximum towing and payload rating. Even if those massive loads are never actually tested by most people, the gas powered engine Silverado HD can tow up to 17,400 pounds. And to be expected, the diesel version can pull up to 36,000 pounds. Before I even start anything, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm not bashing the 6.6 .6 liter gasoline truck. I simply just wanna get my own impression of this vehicle before I decide to make any assumptions. So I'm headed to the dealership. I'm gonna go ahead and test drive a 6.6 .6 liter gas Silverado. I have my eye on one, it's a 2022. It's been on the back of my mind for a while. I'm sure some of you guys have noticed that here on the channel, I've been test driving other vehicles. But, you know, with it being a gas truck, it's going to be a little bit easier on maintenance. I'm just kind of exploring my options right now. But, you know, you can't compare a Duramax to a gas, obviously. That's not what I'm doing in this video, although I will be hitting on it a little bit. You guys are going to get my first take on this gas truck that I'm going to test drive. And it's going to be pretty organic. I'm going to go ahead and kind of get on it a little bit so I can see what the pickup is. Sort of the drivability piece as well and just see how this thing actually runs. Before we do anything, I'm very excited to announce that we are giving away our beloved GMC 2003 Shorty Duramax built from the frame up 64 millimeter turbo, big fuel. The truck is a one-off, completely custom, absolutely gorgeous. And we're also gonna be giving a portion to a good charity organization. So you guys have the opportunity to win this truck. All you guys have to do is go to the description below or the comments, I'll link that down there. Click on that link, get yourself entered, pick up a t-shirt, a key tag. Everything on the website is 10 times entries and good luck to everybody. 
Okay, so now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and take it on a little test drive. So this would be my very first time test driving the truck. I haven't really looked at it. I basically, I mean, it's a no brainer. It's a 2022, so it's gonna look exactly the way I think it is, but we're gonna go ahead and test drive it. I've never done that. So let's go ahead and first start it up in the cab and let's see a difference. We're not trying to compare Duramax right now in this video to gas, but um, it's very similar when it comes to the platform. So let's do this right now. Upon initial startup, if you did not delete your diesel truck, it sounds very similar <laughs> to a diesel. I'm actually a little interested to feel the power of a 6.6 gas versus the difference between. Stay tuned for that video. As a matter of fact, let me know in the comments, guys, if you want me to make a video on the difference between the 6.6 gas and the 6.6 diesel. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to read it because if we can get to that point, I will definitely do a real straight up comparison video on both platforms. My overall consensus on the 2020 plus Silverados, the front ends, I think look a little goofy. In my opinion, if you own one, no offense, I think the GMC trucks look way better in the front. But that'd be my only issue with this truck. Oh, I'm sorry, and the mirrors. Go ahead and show the mirrors. Mirrors are a little silly looking. It's very, very smooth. But just my overall feeling on driving this truck, I love it. I love it. This is fun. What do you think, Melanie? Yeah, this is, uh, I really like all that space back there. Look at all that leg room. Seems like you can fit a lot more people in here than- It just looks more like comfortable to travel in and put all the kids in. Pull a big camper. Yeah, it's very- Look at this. Check this out. Look at the rear view mirror right here. Oh, oh, that's cool. It's digital. Isn't that cool? Yeah, but in a way it's not because what if you're- You could turn it off. I think you can. Does it turn into a mirror? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, so you have your option, but that's a lot clearer, especially at nighttime. That is cool. Yeah. That's very futuristic. Yeah, I think this has the Q technology where it's got all the cameras and it comes with a hole in the bed so you don't have to cut it for the fifth wheel or the uh, gooseneck. Actually, both. It actually has two options. It has a full towing package. But more importantly, guys, let's go ahead and take her on a little rip. 6.6 .6 liters. I don't know if the displacement is absolutely correct. I did some research. I think we're around the 6.5 liter range. That's just how they marketed it with it being 6.6. I think that was GM's answer to the 6.6 is they were trying to mimic the diesel sort of liter displacement. Could be wrong, but kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Not hammer all the way down, but I want to feel the power. So let's do it. Actually, that's all the way down. That's That's it. That's all she's got. I don't know. I'm not too impressed with that. It's not bad though. I mean, it's kind of here. Let's. I almost hit a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we flew right in front of me. You missed it. Turkey for dinner. Um. There's no tow mode button here. Check this out. Look right here. here. No tow. I don't even know where you find that here. It's oh, weird. it's probably in a different spot. There's no cause... tow mode. Oh, I think this is it right here. Oh yeah, it is normal off-road I don't even want to mess with that I don't know what that's all about I don't really like that this is gonna be uh, to the floor I guess I we'll see what happens she moves not bad not bad I would say it's a little faster than the uh, 3.0 liter Duramax we drove well should I say that it moves good for a what 7,000 7,300 pound pickup I guess yeah, that's what I was saying about the cameras. I love these cameras. This is awesome. I wish my 2018 Denali had this. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and step outside and take a look at it. Well, this is my first look at the 2022. It's going to look very similar from the 2020s to the 2023s. But I'll tell you what, man, this is a sharp pickup. I just don't like the front end. Look at that classy tip they put on it. Woo, that's nice. And like I said, they have everything ready. But more importantly, guys, let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what it looks like underneath there. What's this 6.6 six liter actually look like? There's like so much room for activities in this this is insane but obviously not a duramax i mean it's you know a duramax would cover everything you, you barely be able to even put your hand in there if it was a diesel so very simple that's one thing i love about this pretty interesting they don't have a heat shroud i don't know why i'm saying that but usually all these have some sort of heat shroud underneath the hood i wonder why they don't do that anymore but yeah that's the engine bay let's go ahead and start it up on the outside and actually hear this thing Very simple. You don't have to worry about death. Oh, check this out. 
This bed, of course, is ready for def, but if this bed was to be taken off and put on another diesel truck, they can use this bed because it's got that. So that's kind of cool. This is all the way to the floor. I mean, not, not bad, not bad. Actually, low end, that's not too bad right there. Uh, we were at about, I don't even, I don't really know exactly where we're at on the RPM band, but um, we were doing about 40 miles an hour, put her to the floor. That, was, that wasn't that was too bad, but it is kind of slow. Not as bad as, like I said, the uh, 3.0 liter Duramax, the older style anyways. But this truck is very impressive. I really, really like it. I just don't like the oil consumption thing, and I don't like the fuel economy. I understand that diesel is way more than gasoline, but the fact that, I mean, some people are claiming they're getting like 12 miles to the gallon in this thing. That's crazy. A lot of truck, big motor, I get all that, but you think they would have done a better job. Some of the pros, of course, is the active fuel management is not on this truck. It's not available, which is awesome. I know I keep harping on the power, but it's like, it does move, but how does it act with a trailer? Because, I mean, if it can barely pull its own weight, how's it gonna pull an 8,000 or 10,000 pound trailer? I'm sure it does though, because it does have a lot of low end torque from what I'm hearing. So I'm sure that that is a nice factor, especially if you're climbing mountains, for example, you're in Colorado or, you know, Utah or something. But overall, man, it's it's not very impressive as far as the get up and go. But for the price of diesel and the price of gas and the less maintenance that you have to do with this truck, you just start it and go. You don't have to wait on glow plugs or anything crazy like that. It's, it may be a good trade-off. I don't know. I, it almost may be worth it to buy a truck like this, drive it around and use it just so I can get a real good comparison. But I do know that they detune these engines from the factory, so the potential really isn't unleashed completely. I mean, this would be such a fun truck to own. If you don't really need all that extra power, it's cool to be able to just start it up and go, especially to take this truck out to the lake or pull a camper, bring your family out. This is really nice. So we're back. We're going to go ahead and pull it back in the parking lot and we'll go ahead and get out of here. But overall, I am impressed. I just don't like the pickup and, you know, as far as the acceleration goes. Now check this out. I really want to test drive this truck, but somebody just bought it. This is pretty amazing. This is an LT version, so it's not the high country. That being a 2024, if I'm not mistaken, it's only like $1,500 more. But check this out, guys. They put an Allison 10 speed. I had no idea, but they actually coupled an Allison 10 speed with the 6.6 gas truck. If you guys were to actually look at the badges in the tailpipe, you almost couldn't tell if it was a gas or a diesel but obviously it's a gas. So if you wanna pull off the rich guy look, you know. But that's pretty interesting. I'm curious to see what this thing can do as far as pulling a trailer with it having a 10 speed on it. That's pretty neat. Here's a little pickup with the Duramax. Yeah, I mean, there's, whew, this truck moves. I don't think there's gonna be any comparison when it comes to the, uh, the gas, but this truck definitely picks up. After the test drive, I have to say, I am thoroughly impressed with the drivability. I know I keep talking about it, but the truck is so much more comfortable than this one right here. Of course, it's a little bit older of a model. Now, of course, when it comes to torque, the Duramax is unmatched. I mean, you're not gonna be able to top that. The truck coming in at, what, 464 pound-feet of torque for the gas when the Duramax is a lot higher. But the new shocking news to me is the fact that they came out with a 6.6 .6 liter gas with an Allison 10 speed. Because if you guys go back in time, they came out with the 8.1 liter Vortec with the five speed Allison in it. I think it's really neat that they came back with that sort of idea, you know, with a gas and an Allison kind of combo. I thought that's really cool. As a matter of fact, they're probably gonna sell a ton of those. But going back to oil consumption, you're gonna have to keep an eye on that because it does burn oil. This truck does burn oil. The fuel economy is absolutely garbage. The fact that they got rid of the failed, the ever failed active fuel management where it goes from four cylinder to eight cylinder. And they've seen problems over the years of that, of course. I think that was a very big step right there. I'm not 100% sold on it, but I would actually own a truck like that if I didn't want to spend too much money in diesel, and if I really wasn't using my truck so much for work. So now that I'm home, my overall take on this whole test drive experience, I'm probably not gonna pull the trigger on this thing. After the test drive, I wasn't too impressed, so obviously I didn't purchase the truck today, but it's still in the back of my mind. I wouldn't purchase a brand new one. I think that if I was to get one, I'd probably get a used one. I can't justify spending that much money on a truck just for simplicity. But overall, I had a lot of fun test driving the truck. It's actually really nice, you know, the interior, the exterior. It does have a little bit of pep to it, and I think that if I was to pull a trailer with it, I wouldn't be too disappointed. 
but it's really hard to go back. It's kind of where I'm getting at from diesel to gas. And also before I close out, let me know, give me a Y for a yes or an N for a no if you guys would like for me to do a comparison video between the 6.6 .6 liter gas and the 6.6 .6 liter diesel. But that is all the time that I have for today. Definitely click the link below, truckmasterdiesel.com. Get entered in for the Shorty Duramax giveaway because before you know it, this contest will be completely over and you will not have a shot at it. But we'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned.